Joseph in Bloomington asks, when hearing aids get to the end of their lifespan, what commonly goes wrong that causes them to stop working? So a normal lifespan, typically we quote our patients five to seven years. There are maintenance concerns, um, not only for the condition of your ear, but the external exposures that you have. Some people are inherently going to be harder on a hearing aid than others. My farmers always give hearing aids a good run for their money on the durability side of things. Uh, whereas somebody who works in an office at a desk all day isn't going to be subjecting hearing aids to the moisture and the dirt and the dust and all of those sorts of things. So that will definitely impact certainly the maintenance requirements of that device and typically the lifespan as well. I like to remind people that these have computer chips in them. And just like anything else with a computer chip, it will slow down. And that's sort of what happens with the processors and the hearing aids. They will start to drag and not perform as well as the wearer needs. But that wearer is also aging. Their brain is aging, their health may be changing, their situation where they live and who they talk to may be changing. And so all of those demands are things that we need to weigh. So we will routinely check a patient's hearing aid performance in an electrical, electroacoustic analytical box. <laughs> <laughs> say that three times too fast. We will also recheck hearing if there is a concern for changes. And then we can also monitor the output of that hearing aid based on the hearing test results. So real time verification of the amplification that it's meeting the patient's needs. When we start seeing that it's still doing what it's supposed to be doing, but the patient isn't happy, then we start talking about would new technology solve this problem? And that's up to the patient if they want to pursue that or not. We're just here to give you the information and help you make that decision. So at BNA, we encourage people to come in for regular checkups in order to have these conversations and also to just make sure their hearing aids are meeting their needs and working correctly. I'm Dr. Natalie McKee from Bloomington Normal Audiology, and we're here for you.